<laughs> there you go. No, you. No, you. You. I started last time. You started this. All time. right. Hi, and welcome to Rotor Riot. <laughs> Chad. And I'm Drew. Hey guys, today Chad is gonna fly. I'm gonna be cappuccino today. That okay. means I'm gonna fly. Yeah. And I'm gonna be vulnerable and learn in front of all of you guys. Um, not that I don't know how to fly. They won't, they I don't won't laugh. Guys, yeah, don't, don't laugh at it. If They're he can't fly very well, just, we've all been there. I can fly. I just, I have to do a challenge. So okay. Sander, Sassy he, FPV. Yes, he has challenged me. Chad, pay attention, because this one is for you. You need to be able to complete three consecutive laps, as shown in the video below. If you don't complete that challenge, more of these will be showing up at your doorstep. So, so Jeff Orta, Vortex, is going to be my coach. Yeah. So I'm excited for that, because Jeff is very patient. Mm -hmm. What? I was just stating a fact. I'm so patient. Okay, so this is the actual challenge. You fly okay. towards the first flag, you do a full rotation. So this then is you fly rotation. towards the first gate, make a split as over it, split then over fly it. through it, do a hard 180 through, through the it. second gate. Then Over fly it. around that second flag and back towards the okay. first flag. It's not too hard. But here's what I'm going to do. I want to practice each thing and, and, and then string them together. That's specifically what I would instruct you to do. Is Identify all the little chunks that need to be put together and mm -hmm. work on each one individually. We're going to use the CL1 that we built. I, I selected all the components with uh, Bardwell and Vanover. I've only test flown it like down and back. That was it. Well, so. we almost have the track assembled. Let's get right. your quad ready. Orbits need help. Here, walk me through my orbits. Let's see what you got. A little more on the right stick to the left. Oh. You're almost doing it like backwards. Yeah, your right stick's gonna be more left, like a left roll. Really? And it's just, yeah. It's both sticks left, but you just gotta figure out oh. the right mixture of both of them. I see. I was always doing it the other way. That's, there, there you go. And once you find the right mix, you, you can, can just stay it. still. A little more. There we little go. A little more. Try okay. to keep the flag but now right in. He's getting it. To keep the flag dead center the whole time. So it's it's forward, left, left. Yeah. So I'm trying hard. to think of how to explain to you how to not. You're like losing momentum. Yeah. You want to keep an arc going. You like don't fly straight. Fly I, I always curved. There it is. Down. That's it. That's yeah. And I'm that's doing. the thing too is dipping your nose down to keep your momentum going, especially when you go past the flag and you want to come back. Yeah. You want to almost dip your nose down more than you think. Yeah. And, and get on the throttle. That's yeah. a good one. Now you're locked in. There we go. Now you're locked in. That's beautiful. Got it. Okay. It's going to be too easy, Capper. Oh, my split S was messy. See, and it depends. Like, ideally for this, you wouldn't really do a split S. You would just do yeah, like a 180 turn. If he wants it to be a split S, practice it by going up a little higher, flying across, mm -hmm. and do a half a roll to where you're perfectly upside down. You're kind of like, you're yawing into it. A split S is just. Half a roll and then pull back. There's okay. no thing, nothing going on with the yaw at all. Just perfectly upside down and then swoop out. So I'm, like, I'm going in. I'm turning into it. Yeah, instead of flipping totally upside to down, you're almost looking this way. Yeah. And really, you should just flip over and then come out that way. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. All right. All right. So that's what I'm saying. Go even that a little was the first higher. First time I did it without you. Go even yeah. a little higher. Okay. Get like 50 feet up in the air. Now, try to, don't let off the throttles so soon either. Okay. Stay on the throttle until you get upside down. And give it a little extra as you're flipping. Boom. That's better. I almost feel like I need to mix it more. You need to mix it less. See, like oh, there's no reason, no okay. yaw at all. Just strictly well, left stick. I, well, until I corrected it, yeah. Go I'm, eat, go, I'm telling you, go twice as high to okay. practice. All right, all right, all right. Go way high. And practice like. I just need some reference. Though. Let yourself float there. That's a split S. All right. Let yourself hang upside down for a second to get the feel for that. All right. I'm just forgetting to uh, throttle because I'm focused yeah. so much on. That's it. That's it. There we go. Okay. So keep doing that for a bit, but your next step is going to be to not lose your momentum when you get to the bottom. See how yeah, you're, yeah. you're like barely moving. Give it a blip of power before you. Right yep. before I go into it. Yep. Yeah. Flip. That's it. There, I got it. Yep. Now, when you're when you're exiting it, 
slowly pull back. Instead of doing it all at once, kind of slowly, and then you can keep your speed going. Yeah, okay, it's the the, the, the right proportions is yep. tricky. See, and the problem is you're not committing to getting fully yeah, upside down. I know. That's why it's like, I it's good feel. to keep working on that. Get that oh, little, that was good. That okay, was a good one. that's you're right. So I was not committing. You gotta get all the, all way. the way upside down like that. Okay. It's that's... scary to be upside down. You're like I'm upside down. I'm headed towards the ground. So you're you're panicking and quickly well, pulling I'm back. Out of, I'm out of battery. Yeah. Okay. So I think a lot of it is I'm I'm feeling like when I do exactly what you say, I can feel that I'm doing it right. Yeah. It's just getting my thumbs to. to yeah, it do takes it. repetition. So. That's why I was saying you're almost still kind of like rushing forward. You're like, okay, I did one good one, so I'm ready, but yeah. not really. And that's why I was saying it's good to do the half a roll and then finish the roll, because it's really well, about I think what it you is, want to be able to pop into that position and have utmost confidence in that. Because if you're not comfortable there, the following steps are going to be awkward because you just barely got the first part. The reason why people don't progress is because they don't want to take the time to. It's not fun to get better because mm -hmm. getting better is not just ripping around. It's like being diligent and practicing this one little thing over and over and over. I do it. I probably practice Rubik's cubes for like eight months before I ever put one in a video because the goal is always to snap right back to where you got. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So same thing with your with your split S. If you're not perfectly upside down, it just you're not coming it, out you the come right out way. Of it wrong. Yeah. yeah, I can see what I'm doing wrong now, and it's weird because at home when I was doing this stuff, I kept practicing it wrong. Yeah. And now, like, I'm trying to break yeah. uh, of that habit. Like I showed you, when you're upside down, you're not really flat upside down, right? right? You're kind of tilted down. So as soon as you're upside down, you're really not that far off from where you need to be to fly straight. You're really like this. Yeah. And you're going, Hoo! and yeah. now you're not going anywhere. Yeah. Like once you flip upside down, you could almost just throttle it and just barely. Just a little bit. I need to really It is scary that. because if you don't pull enough, slam all right into the ground, but you just slowly come back. And right. at the very end of it, you should still be here because you, you want to be going forward. Yeah. The goal isn't to get to here. The goal is to get to there. Right. There's a perfect one. The only thing you did was you still Forgot pulled back too much. Yeah. yeah, and you didn't feed in the throttle on your way down. But and then just I went try to think far. in your head that as you're coming out, you also want to be going forward. It's, yeah. it's not all about saving it from hitting the ground, but keeping going. That was a little that better. Was better. Yeah, crap. I'm not rotating far enough. I wonder if I need to up my rate. Maybe. I mean, are you touching the end of the stick? No. Because you probably should be. It should be to the point where you just exactly. Yeah. See, I, as soon as you tap it, that's it. That's yeah. that's where I set my rates. Where if I tap the end, that's a half a roll. I swear the wind's picking up. Oh, I just need to relax. It, Hold on. Let me let me take a breath. Can I fly one? Let me fly yeah. one. You can watch me fly. Yes, that would be good. It may help. Yeah. It does feel a little weird though. Whoa. Yeah. Something's off. You see that? It's like going to the side. Yeah. Like your trims are off or what something. What is that? Has it been doing that to you the whole time? I don't think. Maybe it has. You know what? I thought it was the wind. Maybe that's what it was doing. Yeah, this is like not, this is not right. Yeah, no wonder you're struggling if that's, if that's how you're Wait, try it. The is time. it no, okay it's now? like terrible. We, we need to hook it up to the in. laptop. All right, now they're all at zero. Yep, zero, zero, zero. Throttle negative 100. So maybe that's what it was. All right, so should have looked at it. that first, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Is that better? Yeah, that's much better. Now it stays in a straight line. I thought it was the wind. Just kind of watch how I do it. Yeah. Maybe that'll help you. Yeah. So I would go way past. So first you float. fix the radio. Okay. This is what you're trying to teach me to do. So the other thing is like using your pitch to, yeah. to change your speed. Yes. So instead of like throttling, that's going to make you go up. But if you do that, yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So especially like when you're doing this, like I need to get over there. Just, just do that. Gotcha. Yeah. And so for these, I'm just like slowly pulling out and feeding in throttle. Yeah. It's happening really slowly. This is quick, but then this is slow. I just can't stand the thought of people watching this. No, it's, no good. it's good because there's a lot of people out there that are the same way. Yes. I know, to, but there's gonna... a lot of people out there that are going to love to rip this up. That's wow. fine. Whatever. You're... If they hate them, let them hate and watch the money pile up. That's a 50 cent song. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because I was struggling with the split S. That was the hardest part. Jeff was saying, go way past it and give yourself plenty of height and then come back. And But the problem was in my head was I was like, that's way too loose. That's like, I need to try to get as close to the original as possible but uh -huh. the, you don't so though. I know but in my mind I kept that was my struggle yeah like I could do it big and loose but it 
it just, I, in my mind, I was like, no, it okay, needs to that's be really tighter. interesting. And I kept struggling with that. I think that's just something that it might be worth really like forcing yourself to embody is knowing that when you're learning a move, you can you can blow that move way out and just right. slowly tighten it up and tighten up. My first power loops, mm -hmm. the little gap. <laughs> okay, here we go. I looped it. That's like, what mine looked like. And then eventually you, you only go halfway to the moon and a quarter right. to the moon. <laughs> right. And then before you know it, you can just whoop, yeah. right through really cleanly. But yeah, there's no shame in, in really blowing it way out. I know, and, but it, for know. whatever reason in my mind, I kept struggling with that. Gaparuskis! I'm so proud I of you. I am really excited. I'm like, not that excited, but yeah. I'm really excited. <laughs> um, <laughs> it was really a rush. Like, I, yeah. I, I, I'm serious. It's flying's I, fun. FTV it's weird really because I thought thing. I knew what to expect. I've been doing, you know, these YouTube videos and working, and, and I've trained people in the mm -hmm. past in RC and building and all of that. It's really weird being on the other side of it, and I think I've not even allowed myself to go there mentally. Right. So. It, it definitely was a great experience, and I'm glad that I did it. Thank you, Sander. Thank you, all of you guys. What you did today, you had a course set up, mm -hmm. ran around the course. You did some preset tricks and maneuvers and things like that, mm -hmm. and that's a really great way to kind of learn these maneuvers. Mm -hmm. My favorite part of flying is getting out in an environment, just kind of going with it. I like that so, too, and that's typically what I do. So I think we should do that today. We should go out to okay. some trees, and you should just not worry oh, wow. about doing specific things mm -hmm. and just enjoy flying a little bit. I think I would enjoy that. Let's do that. Well, before it was always the RC hobby, but now it's it's like I'm actually experiencing what I've been documenting. <laughs>